It was the deadliest pandemic of the 20th century. Over 50 million people killed between 1918 and 1920. But a hundred years on since the first outbreak of Spanish flu, how at risk are we of another global outbreak? Spanish flu broke out in the final stages of World War I. It got its name from the Spanish press who first reported on it. In reality, it's not known where it started. But by the end of 1918, it became the biggest threat to life on Earth. Over 500 million people, a third of the world's population at the time, were affected. And in the end, it claimed more lives than the war that preceded it. The crisis came within the first two to three hours of your sickness. You either survived or you were dead. Today, the serious threat of flu seems a distant memory. Vaccines and research have helped mitigate similar outbreaks since 1918. But still, about 650,000 people die each year from complications linked to seasonal strains of the virus. Health experts warn another deadly flu like 1918 could make a return. There have been three pandemics since, but none nearly as catastrophic. This was different than the yearly pandemics or even the many pandemics that had occurred prior to 1918 and subsequently. Urbanization, mass migration and global travel have increased the risk of pandemics. Modeling commissioned by Bill Gates found if a similar strain as 1918 was to come back, it would still kill about 33 million people. The World Health Organization lists flu as one of the biggest threats to global health. It's not a case of if, but when another pandemic will strike. How will the world react a hundred years after the big one?